Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here. If you will, like, share, comment on the post, and then join me in the 16th chapter of the book of Acts, beginning in verse 19. You remember yesterday we uh, stopped off with uh, Paul uh, in the name of Jesus, casting the demon, demanding the demon to come out of the young girl uh, who was being used for uh, to make money by telling people's fortune. After that happened, the Bible says, but when her owner saw that their hope of gain was gone, they seized Paul and Silas, dragged them into the marketplace before the rulers. And when they had brought them to the magistrates, they said, these men are Jews and they are disturbing our city. They advocate customs that are not lawful for us as Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in attacking them, and the magistrates tore the garments off them and gave orders to beat them with rods. And when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, ordering the jailer to keep them safely. Having received this order, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet with stocks. Uh, money and greed, it'll get you every time. And that's exactly what we see take place here. Uh, money and greed often uh, come up against Scripture, come up against the Gospel. It's exactly what we see happen here. Why? Because these men had lost their money maker. Uh, the young lady that they had been using uh, was uh, had the demon cast out. She'd been delivered, uh, and they're angry. Uh, and so they take Paul and Silas and they drag them in, uh, again, violently is the word that is used there, violently uh, brought them before the magistrates, the law, the police. Um, in, in a Greek city, these would have been um, governors, but uh, for our sake, uh, we'll call them uh, policemen and drag them in. And they bring up false charges. They're, pretty much everything they say, uh, to start with, they, they accuse them of being dangerous, um, disturbing our city, um, and they accuse them of troubling people. They hadn't bothered anybody. Nobody cared but them. Um, and to teaching different uh, religious activities. Um, they hadn't taught any religious activity. Uh, they uh, just trumped up these charges. Actually, the religion uh, of the thing wasn't the issue. Uh, they wouldn't have cared if they cast out the name, cast out this demon in the name of Baal or Beelzebub or anybody else. Their problem was that their money maker uh, had her demon cast out and couldn't make them money anymore. They could care less uh, about the religious uh, aspect of things. That, that made no difference to them uh, whatsoever. And um, so, so money and greed was driving uh, their um, everything they were saying uh, and doing. We see it doesn't appear that uh, Paul and, and Silas are given the opportunity to respond or to answer um, and, and to tell their side of the story. They were just um, ordered to be beaten and uh, thrown in the prison. Uh, and so, uh, again, they, they don't uh, really get a uh, fair trial. They have false accusations. Uh, everything that went on, uh, because of that, uh, Paul uh, would later say in some of his writings that he was treated outrageously uh, in that place. They tore off his clothes, clothes beat them with rods, it says, uh, and threw them into prison. Uh, and so, um, and to make sure they don't get out, they put them in the middle of the prison, where they're behind a number of bars, and then on top of that, uh, they chain their feet um, and chain them to the floor. Uh, so that we know uh, they can't get away. Um, and th this passage should just serve as a reminder. That there's probably a lot of um, things we could uh, draw from it, but uh, the thing I want to point out again uh, is the danger uh, of selfishness and greed, uh, of money, um, how dangerous that can be. Uh, people make really poor decisions when they are uh, influenced 
by greed and by by finances by uh, by money and so uh, let, let's take this passage this morning and let's take and I think there's two sides uh, of this coin uh, on the one side of the coin um, we have the warning uh, that we are careful uh, of uh, of greedy selfish uh, money hungry people um, they will trample you they will have no respect for your faith, your belief system, your relationship with God. We see that um, uh, throughout Scripture. We see that in our own lives around us. Be, be very cautious and aware uh, of those with whom we associate with. The other side of that coin that uh, we have to be aware of is that we're not the greedy person. Uh, that We don't allow greed and selfishness and money uh, motivate us and influence uh, us that uh, we make bad decisions that we make uh, poor choices and probably probably everybody um, watching listening uh, today can look back on their life and think of a time uh, when money and greed uh, has caused us and influenced us uh, to make poor decisions or um, and or we know of a number of families uh, that have been destroyed uh, by greed. Uh, you see it especially a lot of times when uh, someone in a family passes away and, and leaves just a, the smallest amount uh, of, uh, of money, real estate, whatever, how often the family ends up just totally destroyed uh, fighting uh, over that little bit of stuff and uh, so let's be sure we're not uh, we're cautious and careful of the greedy and we're cautious and careful we don't become the greedy you think about that have a good day we'll see you here tomorrow morning